Come on in. Come on in. This is not like a, what is that TV show? Like HGTV uh, house tours? I don't know. That's dumb. Anyway, welcome. What is up, guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. And welcome to my reptile room tour, or should I say my reptile loft tour, my reptile area tour, because this is basically the space underneath my full-size loft bed. This is the area where most of my pets are kept, so I'm gonna give you a full tour of this room, just go through all the tanks, all the animals, all the different things that you see in my background, and it should be a lot of fun. You guys have requested this for a really long time. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you'll be able to see more of the animals that you're gonna see in today's video. And now with all of that being said, let me give you like a quick pan of this room so that you can get a feel for the layout and kind of get your bearings. And then we'll go into the specific details of each of the different components of the room. All right, so here is kind of the space we are working with all underneath my loft. So just to get your bearings, there is a rack over here with some animals, some shelves, the background area, the turtle tank, and then this bookshelf over here. So let's first start off over here. So this area here is one rack of reptile shelves. So this is my leopard gecko tank, home to my leopard gecko, Kuzan. I believe you can see him hanging out right there. This is an Exoterra uh, large low. And so this is his tank. I've done tours of it. Kuzan is my Murphy's patternless leopard gecko, super duper sweet. And this is his enclosure, all fake decor, but I definitely wanted to have a natural atmosphere in there with some plants and also these repti hammock things. Those are super duper fun. And so this is his tank. He uses every inch of the space and absolutely loves it. And then up here, this is just a random Mars National Park sign. Obviously, Mars National Park does not exist. I just found that somewhere and thought it was really cool. This is actually a newer edition. You can also uh, see Pudge in the background over there, which is really funny. And this guy, which is, I think it's just some random uh, chameleon skeleton. He doesn't have a name yet, so if you want to leave name suggestions for this chameleon, please leave them in the comments. That would be really, really fun if we could give him a name. And then moving down below... This is the axolotl tank. As you can see, the lights are not on. This is home to Mochi, my leucistic axolotl. It's a 20 gallon long. Lights are not normally on, like I said, because he doesn't like a lot of light for his eyeballs. You can see him in there though, just chilling. There's a fan up here to help keep the temperatures down. And then on the bottom shelf here, I have my milk snake enclosure. So let me pull this out really quickly. So this is my milk snake enclosure, home to my female Nelson's milk snake. I almost said milkshake, I always do that. My female Nelson's milk snake, Sienna. And if I check underneath here, usually she's hiding. I don't wanna make her all fussy, but aha, there she is. Hello. So there she is just chilling in the corner there, probably a bit bigger since the last time you saw her. And she is just absolutely gorgeous, but <laughs> I haven't actually been handling her as often since she's gotten a little bit more flighty. I'll have to get better with that, get it more consistent, but for now I'm just gonna leave her alone so she can relax. Sorry for bothering you, whoopsies. Okay, 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 it's okay. There she goes. All right, good night, sweet girl. No escaping for you tonight, because that's something that <laughs> milk snakes are often known for, is escaping. So I have to make sure she stays all secure in there. So this uh, enclosure, I forget what it's called, is just a little plastic terrarium. I want to say the dimensions are 24 by 12. She will be getting an upgrade soon, but she can still pretty much stretch out all the way across the enclosure. So she is just fine in here for now. All right, let me stick her back in. and then to the left is just some storage for some reptile equipment, supplies, uh, terrarium moss, just all kinds of random things. So that's kind of this entire rack system over here. Moving on, we have my pride and joy. Just kidding, you're my pride and joy, Kuzan, and all my animals are my pride and joy. But over here is a corner I'm particularly fond of. I have a lot of fandoms. So this is kind of my corner dedicated to that. You can see all my Funko Pops. Up here, we have Avatar, the last airbender. 
Look at that, Zuko, Toph, Appa, absolute faves, best TV show. Next up, we've got Marvel plus Steve Irwin, cause Steve Irwin is also my superhero. Look it, so this is the Chase edition of this Steve Irwin Funko Pop, and it actually has him holding a turtle, which is amazing. This turtle honestly looks a bit like Hoku because it's got white skin, so that's really cool. Then down here, finally, we have an old Kodak film camera, which I don't know if it works, but it looked cool, so that's why I got it. And then also Mando, of course, with the child. And then behind is actually K2SO and Cassian Andor from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. So not one of the original Star Wars movies. K2SO is actually my favorite droid. I know, scandalous. It's not C-3PO or R2-D2. Also Porg. Nuff said. This side of the shelf, we've got Raya and the Last Dragon. Newer Disney movie, but... I mean, what the heck? She looks like me. She's Southeast Asian. That's just super cool. My other girl, Mulan, over there too. The Flash, we love Barry Allen. And then just some other random books. And also another cool film camera, which I don't think works either, but it still looks cool. Next shelf, Lord of the Rings, Hermione Granger. These boxes are just some random keepsake boxes. Smokey the Bear. Only you can prevent wildfires, as well as this lamp. This is actually really cool. It lights up, uh, made of glass. We just found it at a thrift store one time, and it looks super neat. So that is just kind of my little fandom corner, as well as my hero, Zuko, yes, but also <laughs> Steve Irwin. Oh, and a, a Lego Seattle, because that's cool. Oh, when did my lights turn off? Jumping over here really quickly because my lights turned off. This is where I have all my timers and things to light stuff up. Okay, so now my lights are back on. Man, I showed you all this stuff without the twinkle lights in the back. Oh well, that's okay. Down below here, this is my Dubia roach bin. So all of my roaches live in this bin that I feed to Kuzan over here, who is just like, why are you posing so much, sir? Can I help you? Can you be any cuter than you already are? I mean, seriously, what are you doing? Why do you have to be so cute? He's hungry. <laughs> anyway, this is his Doobie Roach bin. So all the roaches breed in here. There's plenty of them, although you can't see them obviously because they're hiding. Oh, and people always ask, by the way, I kind of forgot, but people always ask where these shelves are from. These are Edsall muscle racks from either Home Depot or Lowe's, one of those, I can't remember. And frankly, like for reptile tanks, they're probably fine for fish tanks, as you will see. Putting that much weight on them is a little bit sketchy. And with this one, I actually had to cut a piece of plywood to make it fit, but you can make it work. So these are Edsall muscle racks uh, for the shelving over here. These are just random bookshelves, probably like Ikea or something, I don't know. I will link these floating shelves though, because these are literally my favorite shelves. I have another set and I just think that they look super duper great. So I will link those shelves in the description. Um, okay, next up we have this background wall. I kind of just wanted it to look like green and plant-like. If you can't notice, that's kind of my theme here. The planter was from Hobby Lobby, I'm pretty sure. And then the plants, the fake plants were from Daiso. Just some random fake plants. I actually took this photo. It's just some succulents, postcard. This was actually fan art that someone did of Hoku a long while back. I think it was at Beanables uh, that did this art. If you ever want to send fan art, you know, this is definitely something that can be interchangeable. So if you ever send art that kind of goes with the theme of this wall, it might end up here. Just saying, my PO box is in the description. Uh, so that's some art there. And then another photo that I took of this random tree. This is a calendar off of Amazon. It's dry erase. I honestly don't love it, but it's, it works. So you can see this is my calendar. So these were just like clips that I found that I put onto the nail in the wall. And then these were cute little bottle cap magnets that I found. And look, this is like a little fish with a top hat. I don't know, really cute. So I just put that on the magnet there so that it could attach my calendar to the wall. Don't ask me why I need two dry erase markers up there. I just, I have two, so that's what I did. And then this bar back here is actually that uh, crossbar that helps support with the structural integrity of the bed. But of course, fairy lights makes everything cuter. So I've got fairy lights on there and our good old pal Murphy from Aquarium Co-op. This is just a random magnet that Jimmy gave me a while back. I don't know if they sell those on the website, but there's Murph. And then finally over here, we have our beautiful turtle tank. This is Hoku, my beautiful diamondback terrapin. Love him so, so much. Many, many other videos on the channel about this, but this is his tank. So up top, you can see his basking area with all his lights. 
his tank, which is just crushed coral substrate and then all kinds of hardscape and a java fern in the middle. And then the only filter on this is an aqua clear 70, which is running right back over there. We've got a wave maker, which helps keep the tank super duper clean. I just recently did a water change on this, which is why it looks so good. But this is just the tank that I stare at while I'm over here sitting at my desk, which we will talk about in a second. But as you can see, underneath this tank is another tank. This is an empty tank with just a bunch of random junk. So this is a 29 gallon. It actually used to be Hoku's old tank. You can see Hoku there. Uh, but this 29 gallon is kind of just a catch-all for a bunch of random things. There's a basking area I was trying out over here, the basking area that I made a long time ago, test kits, random decorations, gloves for when I clean the tank. This is literally just a random tank that's just here. I don't know if anything will ever be added to it, but we will see. We will always see. There's always possibilities, you know? And then over here is actually my power strip. I don't want to open it up, but just imagine that the power strip sits inside that box. I didn't want it to look ugly with all the wires, so I kind of bundled all of my wires together with my cord management system, and so it all goes into this box, and the timer controls this power strip. So that is this turtle tank over here. Next up, we're going to look at this tank, uh, but before that, let's take a look at my desk. Okay, so this is my desk area. I just have this random turtle. I don't remember where I got it, but it's super duper cool. And then of course we have Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon who sits with me on my desk as I do school. This is just contact paper on the desk. Random chair, which I need to upgrade before the school year starts because this is super duper uncomfortable. Then I've got these plastic drawers where I kind of sort of organize all kinds of random things. There's some uh, Turtle Girl stickers. If you're a patron, you can get stickers like this. These are super fun. Or write me a letter. If I really like your letter, I might send you a sticker. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, I can't promise that because there's not very many stickers in here. But if you do become a patron, uh, at certain levels, you get these stickers. So I'm just saying. Join the Patreon. Cool stuff going on over there. So I've got stickers. This is just my organization. Notebooks. That kind of stuff. This is my Nalgene and then also a water bottle that my sister made for me. She actually engraved this. It's super duper cool. I actually haven't gotten the chance to use it, but it totally, I mean, tell me that doesn't fit the aesthetic, like for real, okay? It's beautiful. Phone, pencil case, pencils. Um, first off though, I just need to like take a moment. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how my phone matches my laptop? Like, just look at that. Tell me that's not beautiful. So that's my phone, computer. This just goes right in there to be held. Pencils back there. Over here in the bookshelf, some of it's books, but then these top two shelves are kind of like turtle shelves. So we've got the food in there and then some cleaning supplies and towels in this one, because I always need those. More Marvel things. We have Groot over here, super duper cute, hangs out. And then Adventure is out there. This is a little letterboard sign. Up is another one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies. So that's a little thing there. And then we have another little random cactus light because it looks cute. Don't ask me why I have it. And then here we have the tank that you don't see very often. This is like a feeder slash grower tank. There's like snails in here and literally one white cloud running solely on air. I turned off this filter a long time ago because it was kind of noisy. Um, so that's this tank with a little octopus guy. Don't ask me why there's a random octopus guy. I just stuck it there and forgot about it. But there's literally just a single white cloud in here. And so I use this tank to grow out plants, to grow out snails. And that's just another tiny little tank up here in my room. And so that is my entire reptile area. I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Links to a lot of these things will be in the description. If you saw something that was cool and that I didn't link, just leave a comment. But this is my area. This is where I do all my work. All the videos I make are edited right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye.